Hello students, welcome back to our channel Diksha Karnataka. So all of you know the KSET chemistry exam is on April 19th and we have hardly 2 weeks or 14 days of time for this exam, right? So in this video, I will be discussing our detailed strategy of how to use this 14 days so that you can effectively uh, use this time and score more in the exam. So in one of my previous video, I have also discussed the 30 days strategy. So it is not like this is a different strategy, it is just the extension of this 30 days strategy and uh, it's about like what more you should focus, where your direction should be more so that we can get maximum scores in this time, okay? So in this video, I will be discussing the week by week strategy. So we are left with two weeks. So I will be telling in week one, which chapters you should focus, how to study these chapters, how many mock tests you have to do. And then I'll also give you some other important tips that will help you to boost your scores. Okay, so now let us see this one. We have first of all, before going to the detailed plan, I want you to just listen to this five important tips that you have to keep in your mind in these 14 days so that you can perform better. First is the main important thing is revise, okay. Do multiple revisions of the high weightage topics. We know all the PU2 chapters are very high weightage topics. Do multiple revisions of them, revise the important concepts, important formulas, important diagrams, if any values are there you have to remember. Just keep on revising that will in increase your confidence, okay. Next. Assign time to complete the syllabus. So already we have discussed how to complete the high weightage topics, but still if you are in somewhere, some part of any high weightage topic is not completed, use this time first to complete the uh, unfinished chapters, okay? So you have to give like 70% of your time for revision and rest 30% of time to complete only if they are high weightage chapters, okay? Then third important tip is solve chapter wise PYQs. So you have to solve the questions that have been asked in the previous years from one chapter. So this will help you to understand that how you have prepared for the exam, whatever uh, concepts you have prepared, whether those questions are asked and what is the level of the exam, okay? So just prepare chapter wise PYQs, it will definitely help you to get confidence on one chapter. Next. Practice 5 to 6 mock test. As you have seen, we have just 14 days left. So you can easily do two, uh, one mock test in two days and then you have to analyze them and you have to uh, see where you are lacking. Okay, so this is important. So practice 5 to 6 mock test. Then we have very, very important. Believe in yourself. You have been studying for a long period of time. The big day is yet to come. So just have faith in your uh, preparation. Just don't lose hope. Uh, just be don't get demotivated, okay? Be 100% confident, prepare this 14 days is the last one. You have to use it very efficiently. Trust yourself and then you can definitely do better in the exam, right? Okay, so these were just five important tips that I want to share. Now I'll go to your weekly plan, okay? So in the first week, that is this first seven days, we will be focusing on the revision of high weightage chapters, okay? So which chapters are there, how to revise that I'll be telling and try to write four mock tests in this period, okay? So it is because, see in the last week, I don't want that you should do more mock tests because if you get less marks, you will feel demotivated. So in this time, write more mock tests, analyze your weakness, analyze your time management, okay? So we have to do four mock tests here and then we have to revise the important concepts. In the week two, we have to finish the moderate weightage chapters and then we have to give some time to low weightage chapters also and then revision and two mock tests in this period. So this week two, we have to go to low weightage topic only if you have done the high weightage uh, chapters. If it is not completed in week two also, you have to give importance to high weightage topic, right? So these are the some uh, broad division of week one and week two. Now let us see. So this is your, I have already discussed in my 30 day strategy video, the high priority, medium priority and low priority chapters. So you can just check the list of these chapters. If these are not completed, you have to first give importance and complete them. So this was, I have already discussed. You can just take a screenshot of this, keep the list of the chapters if you don't have. Now coming to week one and week two. So in week one, we'll be focusing on PU2 syllabus, okay? So there are total 19 chapters in chemistry in that 10 are from your 12th standard and we have first 9 chapters from your 11th standard, right? So I have given you the list of these 10 chapters. So it's like you have to prepare solutions, electrochemistry, chemical kinetics, these three comes under your physical chemistry. So how will you prepare these? 
So we have a video where we are discussing the important formulas for each chapter. You can watch that or if you have already have any short notes, just revise them, revise all the formulas, revise all the values, any definitions, any derivations we have, just revise them, okay. Next coming to coordination compounds and DNF block. These are the two chapters from inorganic chemistry. So here you can prepare the D, con D block configuration, electronic configuration, then we have trends for D block, okay. So just revise everything, go slow, go just uh, revise all the formulas, um, magnetic moment formula, CFSE theory, okay. So next we have these organic chapters. So these organic chapters are very, very high weightage topics. Alcohols, phenols, ethers, aldehydes, ketones, amines, biomolecules, haloalkins and haloarenes. So for these all the organic chapters, we have three levels of preparation. First is your methods of preparation, okay. For example, alcohols. What are the methods of preparation? Write a short note, write a in one A4, write all the methods of preparation, make a schematic diagram and prepare it. Then you have uh, for methods of preparation, then we have some physical properties. For example, melting point, boiling point, solubility, acidic nature, basic nature, how to identify them. Many questions are asked from this topic. So focus on that. Then you have biomolecules, very, very important and scoring topic. Okay, biomolecules, please do not leave it. It is a very theoretical question. You just have to learn certain examples, certain definitions. It can give you a good score. Okay, so biomolecules focus on this. Again, haloalkins, same thing. After here also you have to prepare the chemical properties, okay, reactions, what type of reactions they show with other elements. So this is how you will do these chapters in the first week. See, you might be thinking that there are 10 chapters how to complete. So it's not that you have to read the chapters now, you just have to revise them. You must be having short notes, use short notes to revise them, don't go for books, don't go for any reference book, just revise it from the notes, key points, key, for, uh, key formulas, anything is there, just revise them. Next coming to week 2. So my sincere advice is if you have done with these chapters, then only go for these chapters. Otherwise, first preference is for these 10 chapters, okay. Now coming to week 2, again we have hydrocarbons topic, just uh, alkanes, alkenes, methods of preparation, chemical properties, isomerization examples, these all things you can remember. Equilibrium, very important. Chemical equilibrium give more importance. Ionic equilibrium, um, I'll tell, uh, you can just leave it if you haven't done it yet. Chemical equilibrium is easy and scoring questions are also asked. So give more importance to chemical equilibrium. Next redox reaction, very easy balancing of reaction, oxidation reduction you can do. Some basic concepts of chemistry here, concentration terms, okay. All the concentration terms, empirical formula, molecular formula, revise on that. Structure of atom, structure of atom, you know Bohr's formulas are there, Heisenberg uncertainty principle, all important formulas from structure of atom you can prepare. Classification, this is very easy and scoring topic again. Here give more importance to exceptions. There are a lot of exceptions, so please uh, give importance here. Organic chemistry, some basic principles and techniques, again the GOC, carbocation, carbon and stability, resonance, plus R, minus R, some basic things you can read from this part. Chemical bonding and molecular structure, definitely you will get question from Vesper theory, okay. So please prepare Vesper theory. The table is there where we have bond pairs, lone pair, hybridization, structure, geometry, all the table should be completely revised. Then you can revise from this uh, like how to predict the bond order formula, then you have molecular orbital theory, how to predict bond angle, these all some basic things you have to do from here. Next is thermodynamics, again focus on work done formula, okay, delta G formula. So these are some important topics from thermodynamics. Next, in this last week, complete revision, give more time to revision, don't do many mock tests. I will be suggesting at only two mock tests you have to do, okay. Just try to do just two mock tests, analyze them. You should work on your uh, weak points there, but giving so many mock tests in the last week may demotivate you, okay. So just do complete revision and two mock tests, right. So this is a broad plan for week one and week two, okay. Now let us see. How exactly you have to complete these chapters, right? So as I have already told you, first is have a realistic study schedule with breaks. So just you have to do physics, chemistry, maths, all the subjects are there. So just divide the time equally for all the three subjects or based on your strength and weakness. In that you have to first plan chemistry where you are studying, which time slot you are taking for chemistry. So if your exam you see chemistry exam is in the second half, right? So it is better if you keep yourself active in this time, okay, use this time to study chemistry so that your brain is activated, it can perform better in that time. Your body is habituated 
for that time slot next we have as i told you revise the all the important concepts revision should be done only from short notes okay please don't use books notebooks now if you have highlighted it is okay but don't go on reading the textbook at this point of time use short notes if you have flash cards you can use them if you have formula sheets use them okay now just if you haven't prepared any of these short notes any nothing is there still we have a series of videos where we are discussing how on important topics how to prepare them just go watch those videos and you can make down uh, like note down the important points if you have any other source just go for them it is nothing mandatory but the point is revise from short notes next we have attempt chapter wise pyqs again and again i'm telling if you don't have this chapter wise pyqs also we have a series of top 30 questions from each of the important chapters just watch them try to solve these questions and if you are able to do those questions definitely you will get a confidence that this chapter you are able to do it right so you can do by your own if you don't have you can refer to our videos next we have find out the weak areas and work on them right so there is like when you are attempting the mock test you can see that uh, some concepts are not very clear for you some concepts are okay sometimes you are not able to so solve certain type of numericals so just analyze them and work on it do more important like more give more time to such concepts next we have attempt mock test and analyze them here i want to tell a lot of importance of mock test now from uh, like you may might be writing so many mock test and you will be knowing which is your weak area strong area but now you don't uh, you don't have to attend mock test only to analyze this but you also have to practice time management now okay you have to know certain things while writing the mock test you have to know which is your strength like if, if physical chemistry is your strength start with physical chemistry if organic chemistry is your strength start with organic chemistry first you have to know which one is your strength and all that you have to analyze first point so in mock test see in the mock test first analyze your strength and weakness which topics or which chapters you are able to do and you are you want to start with those thing because if you start with the positive uh, like easy chapters or your strength topic you will get confidence second one that you have to do is allocation of time this is very important so now you don't only have to focus on the accuracy of the exam but also in the allocation of time like how much time you have to give for physical organic and inorganic chemistry my suggestion is since physical chemistry has more number of numericals give more time to physical chemistry while doing the mock test you have to practice in this way okay it's not like only randomly going uh, mock test without any plan and just checking the answers that will not help now so you have to analyze the mock test also you have to plan the mock test also okay so now analyzing them is very very important analyze your weak areas identify which chapters you are getting less score the questions that are wrong are from which chapter what type of mistakes you are doing is it like any silly mistake concept mistake calculation mistake just analyze them and that should not be repeated in the next mock test so now if you are writing as i told you six mock test in this two weeks of period it has to be done in a very serious manner with full focus and it's like you should think it is your exam paper okay next we have rigorous revision of high weightage chapter so again and again telling so 12 uh, 10 chapters from the 12th standard are very very important give more attention to those chapters if if something is left you are not able to do it now from the first year leave it no problem if you still can score good marks if you focus on the high weightage chapters and all the high weightage chapters are your pu2 chapters so it will not be very difficult because you have just written the board exams also right so just focus on high weightage chapters if you have time you can go to the first pu chapters okay so that's what all about my tips that i wanted to say use this 14 days very effectively just plan it don't do any random thing don't go for any new topic now just focus on mock test revision and doing more and more practicing of questions okay still if you have any doubt or you want any clarification or suggestion please comment down we'll definitely help you and stay focused stay positive for this 14 days don't get panic believe in your hard work believe in your preparation you will definitely do very well in the exam all the very best so just rock the exam so if you have found this video helpful please like share and subscribe our channel to get more updates about your kset exam thank you